The Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System is the National Hazard Communication Standard and is legislated under the Hazardous Product Act. WHMIS is founded on the principle that workers have the right to receive information about each controlled product they use, its identity, hazards and safety precautions. The key elements of the WHMIS system are Hazard classification Cautionary labeling of containers Safety data sheets, SDS Education and training programs Employee responsibilities Know and understand the information on labels and SDSs. Us the information received through education and training to handle controlled products safely. Inform Ublis if labels are illegible or missing. Procedures All employees will be provided the necessary training either annually or at the time of hire. Education and training will include Hazard classes, pictograms and labels. Content on labels and safety data sheets. Worksite-specific training on measures to work safety with hazardous products. Rights and responsibilities of employers and workers. Changes to the inventory will be communicated at a monthly meeting or sooner if appropriate. Any employee required to handle hazardous materials at work must wear chemical-resistant gloves, aprons, coveralls, rubber boots, eye protection and respiratory equipment as required for the work being performed. Work procedures specifying the required personal protective equipment have been developed and hazardous material handling procedures must be followed. Emergency procedures any employee who has exposed their eyes or skin to a hazardous substance or who ingested or inhaled a hazardous substance is required to report immediately to first aid and follow all emergency procedures as described on the product label and SDS. WHMIS class symbols There are eight WHMIS hazard symbols that identify the specific hazards of controlled products. Class A Compressed gas this class includes compressed gases, dissolved gases, and gases liquefied by compression or refrigeration. Example Oxygen, acetylene, spray paint, propane. Class B Flammable and combustible material. This class includes solids, liquids, and gases capable of catching fire in the presence of a spark or open flame under normal working conditions. Example Gasoline, diesel, paint thinner. Class C. Oxidizing material. These materials increase the risk of fire if they come in contact with flammable or combustible materials. Example. Oxygen, enriches oxygen content. Class D. Poisonous and infectious causing immediate and serious toxic effects. These materials can cause death or immediate injury when a person is exposed to small amounts. Examples Sodium cyanide, hydrogen sulfide Example PCP, Varsol, chlorine gas Class D Poisonous and infectious causing other toxic effects these materials can cause life-threatening and serious long-term health problems as well as less severe but immediate reactions in a person who is repeatedly exposed to small amounts. Example Epoxy, resins, asbestos Class D Biohazardous These materials can cause life-threatening and serious long-term health problems as well as less severe but immediate reactions in a person who is repeatedly exposed to small amounts. Example AIDS, Hepatitis B Class E Corrosive material This class includes caustic and acid materials that can destroy the skin or eat through metals. Examples Sodium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid Example Acids and bases Class F Dangerously reactive material These products may self-react dangerously, for example, 
they may explode, upon standing or when exposed to physical shock or to increased pressure or temperature, or they emit toxic gases when exposed to water. Example. Reacts with another to a produce dangerous by-product, 